welcome back to my channel. I'm Athena. This is my channel, Stitching Goddess Designs, and this is a channel about cross stitch and Harry Potter. What is? It's okay. You guys are used to me already. Um, if you're new, I haven't said this in a while. Welcome. Um, I was finally replying to comments uh, this morning, and I've got some new people. Hi, welcome. Welcome to the craziness. Um, for the month of December, I'm doing short daily videos. Um, talking 12 days of stitching, which is over. I didn't get all 12. That's fine. It's fine. Um, opening some advents and, um, I haven't, I mean, I know tomorrow is Christmas Eve and I still have not decided what I want to do here because, um, my nice list only goes to Christmas and my Funko goes till tomorrow. And the one from Katie and Laura looks like it goes till Christmas. Yamir's goes all the way to the end of the month and this one goes, and the socks go all the way to the end of the month. So I might just open Yamir's and the sock, cause I mean, that's just two. And I'm probably gonna just keep showing you the same whip like every single day. So. I think that I'll just open, I'll do one on Christmas and then like on Christmas we'll just open the rest of the socks and the rest of the Ymir's floss. That's what I'm thinking. I just got a fun little text message. <clears throat> okay. So, um, let's try to move past that. <laughs> Let me talk stitching. So yesterday, um, in in my video yesterday, I said that I didn't like this just solid brown, right? Um, and then I said I was going to dye something. Well, I dyed something. I kind of don't want to take it out of the Q-snap because it's already in there really good. But I also want to show you what I dyed. So let's just do it. It's fine. I'll just redo this. Taking these out of the Q-snap is so hard. Um, especially like when it's a newer one. Okay, got it, got it. So, here's this like solid brown, right? Um, yeah. And here's the picture. Um, it calls for PTP Legacy, which is kind of a um, neutral, but then it's got some nice modeling in it. So mine is pretty brown, but it's got some modeling in there. It's got some yellowish modeling going on. It's got some um, more tan. So what I used, I didn't even bring them in here. I used the RIT dye. I used RIT liquid dyes. And I did um, the taupe dye, and the and I did a, a orange like tangerine dye, but I watered it way down, so it did more of an a uh, yellowy kind of effect. And then to start off with, like I mixed the taupe and the orange together to get this kind of a yellowy brown look. But I think it's got some nice modeling in there. I'm pleased with it. It's light modeling, that's for sure. That's the back. And I've been showing you my stitching this whole time, so you've seen what I've gotten done. It is a square. That is the outline for block one. There it is. Um, so, I don't know. Now that I'm looking at it, that might not be... I may not give myself enough border, but that's okay. Um, that's what I got done for yesterday. There's my start. And that's not too shabby. That's ninety. That's a ninety-two by ninety-two square, so that's about four, a little less than four hundred stitches, I guess. Um, <clears throat> so that's the stitching I got done, and this is the first block right here. So I'm gonna work on that again today. Maybe get some of these spider webs in here. Like continue on with the words. Just continue on with like that black stitching so I have a frame of reference to get to the house and start building the house but okay that's what I dyed and 
<clears throat> here for comparison. Let's see if I can hold them both up at the same time. I don't know that I can actually. Here, sideways. So I've got this solid and I've got mine. So you can see it's got some good modeling in there. <laughs> okay. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> um, Advents. Day 23. Nice list. Day 24, 25. So excited for 24 and 25. Like, you don't even understand. I'm so excited to watch the videos. But here is day 23. Um, this bag, I call it the Dorothy bag. It's the blue gingham. It's Dorothy. It's Dorothy's dress. Um, I honestly cannot remember what we have. Oh, I do remember now. All the crinkles. Okay, this is from Live and Die LA. And it is a little tote bag. Let's see here. It's all folded up and wrinkled. But it's a tote bag. It's this big, right? And they've dyed it. It's this amazing purple-ish color. Purpley, bluey color. And, I mean, it's just a bag, right? But, y'all, that's Ada. This is Ada right here. So, I don't know how well you can see through, but yeah, it's Ada, and you can stitch this. So, it's a stitchable bag. So, now I get to find, this is, <clears throat> it's a 14 count Ada bag. The bag size is 14 by 14. The design area is 9 by 9. Um, it's in the colorway Aurora Borealis. So, there you go. There's all the information. Live and die, L-A-D-Y-E. Uh... <clears throat> so I have to find something that's nine by nine to stitch on this fantasticness. Um, that's really cool. I think that's something unique that I have not seen before. I mean, I know that people have done some like bags, like you find those target bags and you stitch on them, but I didn't know there was like actual like 14 count Ada bags. I have no idea what I'm going to put on here. No idea. I feel like something Harry Potter. But I still don't know. Okay. That is from the Black Needle Society. That's super awesome. Okay. Let's do your mirrors. Stop saying okay. Do, 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 do. Day 23. We have uh, yellow and blue. And it's called... Nope. I don't know how to say that. Sin... C-Y-A-N-I-C. Kynic? C-I-N-I-C? <laughs> Thanks, Ymir. <laughs> this is Almond m, m Studio on um, the... She's got her own shop page. It's not on any other thing. It's just go Google Almond M-N-M -M Studio. Um, but there you go. It's that, it's that high, it's that, that high voltage yellow again with some blues in there. Fun. Okay. That was 23. Um, I'm curious here. 24 or 25? Maybe this is 26. Oh, it is 26. I see it. Okay. Day 31 is a big old huge package again, so I'm super excited for that big skein um, to see what it is. Okay, using that word, those two letters, a lot. 23 is another Chocolate Frogs one. Okay. This is from Katie and Lara. They made me a advent. Day 23, because why not try some new fancy floss for fun? Ooh, Creeks Colors. I have never heard of Creeks Colors. Okay, so we've got a red, a blue, a green, and a, t and a, or a t good lord, a um, gray. Words. Okay, so this is Creeks Colors and colors is spelled fancy. 
This is a hand dyed cotton floss, five yards. Um, and they, they have numbers on them, 804 Stone Quarry. And then this is 504 Darkest Night. Uh, it's getting blown out, but it's a, it's a very nice navy color. This is 407 Tenenbaum. It's an amazing green. These colors are very bright and vibrant. I love it. 103 Cranberry. Like, those are just, ooh, ooh, amazing. And then these together, my husband's making fun of me in the kitchen. The blue and the silver, that's really good together too. Okay. Stop saying okay. Those are really pretty. I really like that. Really do. Next, we have the socks. Socks. Do, 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 do. Have you guys noticed how short my videos are getting? It's because people are home and I'm like, I feel less free to like chit chat and gab with you guys because there's people listening in the house. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't get this one open. Here, I'm just going to pull from this side. It's got Ron on the, well it had Ron on there. Yeah, I think I'm pulling the right one. They had Ron on there, but they are Gryffindor socks. Definitely. And there's not like a spot where I would have seen that these came from. Because there's not a Gryffindor spot to pull those from. So, I think that I pulled the right ones. Hopefully. I love them though. I like that. Awesome. Okay. I'm cracking myself up at this point. Stop it. Uh, I was watching Autumn Lane Stitchery and he kept saying, what was he saying? He was saying something like that though. Maybe he was saying okay as well. I don't remember. He was saying something like, as a, um, okay, yeah, I don't, I don't, it was something. He was, I've got to stop saying it. So then the rest of the video, he was hearing himself say it. Oh, oh it's Luna. It's Luna. She's got her glasses on. She's holding the quibbler. She's got her bag on. She's got her radish, or her um, turnip earrings. Not radish, turnips. Difference? Is there a difference? Um, super cute. Super cute. And he looks very familiar. I can't tell. Yeah, it looks very familiar. Um, if you guys have been watching, I feel like this advent repeated some advent or some from last year, which is slightly disappointing because now you have duplicates. And um, as somebody who's displaying and collecting them, like why why would you want duplicates? Especially with someone like Luna, you can dress her different. You can change up her outfit. That's what they do for Harry, her, Ron, and Hermione. They change up the outfits every time. So I don't know if the outfit is different. I'll have to look up there when I get done filming. But I can definitely see that I have Luna wearing these glasses already. And definitely out of space here. Squeeze you in. You're not going to stay up, are you? She leans. I don't know. They, you can kind of see him. There you go. Uh, that was the end of that. That's the end of Advents, right? Yes, that's the end of Advents. Okay. I keep feeling like I'm missing an Advent, but that's because we had the bracelet and then we finished the bracelet and it's just throwing me off for the rest of the entire month. We have a new page today, and we have the amazing, um, maybe like a shot from the courtyard of the castle. Um, it's just all the snow and everything blowing up against the castle there, I believe, is what I want to say. Got some snowmen down there. 
and inside the window just some lights okay so we've got December 23rd mrs. Weasley had sent him a scarlet sweater with the Gryffindor lion knitted on the front also a dozen home-baked mince pies some Christmas cake and a box of nut brittle and that is from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban so the third book um, and I think I mentioned this before is like those Weasley sweaters that have like the initials sewn in on them um, in the book I'm almost 100% sure um, Beth can correct me if I'm wrong but um, the twins were the only ones that had the initials actually sewn on their sweaters like nobody else had their initials sewn on them it was just because and like the twins even pointed out like Gee, she thinks that we don't know who we are and no I think it's more for she could know who they were <laughs> than anything else but uh, yeah I like it's become a thing to have the Weasley sweater with like the R or the H sewn in well the R and the H weren't a thing it was just Fred and George so as far as I I mean that's that's my memory telling me but I'm pretty sure I'm right that is all I have for today. I have stopped myself at least five times in this last like 30 seconds from saying those two letters. I keep wanting to say it and I keep choking on it. <laughs> Trying to not to. So that is all I have for today. My little elf legs are like sliding off my head. I will see you guys tomorrow. My oldest is landing tonight at five o'clock. Uh, my middle has his girlfriend coming over and they're going to make cookies and um, and hang out and like watch movies, I guess. But that's what me and my husband have doing, been doing. So I guess they're watching movies with us. Then, yeah, I think that's, I think that's all we've really got planned for today. Uh, I want to keep stitching, so I'm going to keep stitching. Put something in the box this time. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great December 23rd. <laughs> My husband is like, I don't know, entertainment over here on the side. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.